guys, what's up? This is Mr. RCT3 Creator, and today I'm going to show you how to make custom scenery with multiple textures for Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. This is actually quite simple to do once you have the hang of it. So uh, let's get started. All right. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download SketchUp, and you're going to Google SketchUp, and you're going to want to download the two plugins. I have links in the description for all of these files. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to, in order to install these plugins, you want to go to your C drive, Program Files, 86 for a 64-bit system, find Google, then go to SketchUp 8, and find the Plugins folder. Then you will put in your plugins. You're going to need the RCT3 plugin, Parametric plugin, and the ASC Exporter plugin. I have links for all these in the description. Once you download those, you will put those into your plugins folder. Now you can just close out of that. Now you want to run SketchUp, you just click on it. So now you'll have this. Just delete this thing that it always comes up with. Okay, so now once assuming you've in, you've put the plugins correctly, you go to your plugins, select Roller Coaster Tycoon, placement, full tile. So now you see you have this thing. This is a full tile in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Okay. For this tutorial, I'm just going to make a station cover. So now what you want to do is you want to click on the rectangle, create it just by clicking and dragging so it's like that. And now you want to make another rectangle just like this. Okay. Now, you have to do it just like this. Raise the two sides like that, about this high. And try to make them as even as possible. And now you can go to the pan view to just look. They should be they should be a little higher, so I'm just gonna do that. And uh what I do to check is I uh take the pencil tool and I draw a straight line. So then I know how high to make it. So then I can do that and connect it with the line, just like that. And now you erase the line by pressing the delete key on your keyboard. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to cover the bottom. So just go back to this and then cover up the bottom, just like that. Okay, now what you have to do is hit Control A, which will select all the faces of your uh, thing. And now what you want to do is you want to right click on it and hit Reverse Faces. So now it should be um, white instead of gray. Okay, now to get a little finer in detail you want to delete these lines here so just erase erase these lines because otherwise they will show up in the roller coaster tycoon and it also makes texturing the file easier or it also makes texturing easier okay so I'm just gonna erase all the lines Okay, there, so now it should look like this. Now what you want to do is you want to delete the RCT3 full tile. So just click on it. Make sure you're clicking on that and not the and not the struct, the model you're making. Then just press the delete key on your keyboard and you will have deleted the uh, RCT3 full tile. Okay, now here comes the texturing. You can find textures all over the internet. Just Google 512 by 512 textures because that is the highest texture the importer can handle. Before you texture the model, you want to create a little space here for the lines, the caution lines. So what you will do is you just take the pencil tool and just draw the two spaces here, just like this. And now you want to go to File, Import, and you have to have a 512 by 512 texture, otherwise it will not work. And now you just draw the texture on here, just like that, okay? So now you want to go to the paint bucket, go to in model, and select the uh, select the uh, thing you used earlier, and then paint it on. So now you should have caution lines on your model. Now what you want to do is you want to go back to file, import, and select the texture you want to use for the uh, for the station itself. I use a concrete texture. It's 512 by 512. 
because that's the highest the importer can handle. Now you just texture your whole model just like this. And make sure you texture the bottom too. You have to have everything textured otherwise it's not going to work. Okay, so here you have your little station cover model. Now what you want to do is you want to hit you want to go to this you want to just you click on the mouse pointer up here and you want to hit control and select all the concrete faces of the of the uh, model so select all the concrete faces you have to do it this way otherwise it's not gonna work oops so just make sure you do it this way and then uh, just do that pretty sure I've textured everything alright so now go back to this right click and hit select and then do bounding edges then right click select make group so now you have like a group thing and then now you have so you have this group thing here so you have like a group so when you click on it it will select all that. Now you want to do is right click, select entity info, name it something you will uh something you'll remember. I'm just gonna name mine main for the importer, and then you click on that and select your texture and click OK. Now just X out. Now what you want to do is you want to do the exact same thing with the caution lines. So just control and then click on the two caution lines, right click, hit select, bounding edges then hit make group then go to entity info name it stripes then go to the thing here and then find your texture click OK and X out of that so now you have uh, you have this and um, so now you have a nice little model here now what you want to do is you want to select all so just hit control A now right click on it select or no you control A, then go to plugins, ASC exporter, and select export. So now you should have these two things here. If you don't have these two things, you probably did something wrong. Now just hit OK. And uh, I'm just going to put it on my desktop and have save it as an untitled because I really don't care. And um, this is the number of polygons. This is um, your. This is normal. This is the number of polygons, which means how much stuff in Roller Coaster Tycoon it has. So like this has 36 polygons which is uh, not that much. Okay, so now you can just close out of SketchUp and uh, no I'm not gonna save my changes. Okay, so now here comes the fun part. You wanna go to your AS, your RCT3 importer. So now you are brought up with this. Don't get confused. Just follow this. So just hit none type in your prefix so I'm just gonna do Mr. RCT3 creator and then the theme name is just gonna be station cover okay now you wanna go to create OVL this is when the fun part actually happens so now what you wanna do is you wanna add your textures so I'm just gonna go where I keep my textures I'm gonna do the concrete okay and then add your other texture the uh, stripes texture and click OK. And just click OK on this because we're not going to want the players to change any color. So then now you have these two textures here. Now what you want to do is you want to hit the plus sign down here under static models. So hit the plus sign, browse, find your ASC model. Mine's on my desktop. So now you will just find your model. Mine's called Untitled. So now you just click Open. Now hit F. And this will come up. Hit yes, because we use SketchUp to create it. Now go to your texture. Change. All right. Because when we named the files in SketchUp, we named the main station main. So we want to put that as concrete, because that's what we wanted to do. Now for stripes, we just want to use our other textures. So just hit images, because that's the name of my stripes texture. So then they should turn green, just like this. OK. And then press OK. So now for the LODs, just hit A, and you'll get these random LODs. 
actually the default LODs. Then name it. I'm just going to name mine Station Cover. And then hit check to make sure everything's okay. If you've done everything correctly so far, it should say all data seems to be okay. Just click on OK and hit create scenely OVL. This is normal. You'll it works fine, so just don't bother with it. Just hit continue and just close out of this. And then hit don't save because it doesn't really matter. Now you want to go to icon textures, click add, and then load the texture for your icon. It has to be it has to be a power of two, such as 512 by 512, 64 by 64, blah, blah, blah. And it, it has to be a JPEG. So now you'll just add your thing here and then click OK. And now you'll just have this. Then just hit close. OK. So now you want to go to icon references. Just click on auto. Then you'll have this texture thingy here. Click OK. Then just click on that. And, hit, and then just hit close. So voila, there you go. Now here comes here text go to text strings, hit add, and then name it just uh Mr. R C T three Creators Station Cover. And then just click copy. And you can put whatever your username is here. Then click OK. Then just hit close. Okay. So now we're going on to the scenery part. Click on scenery then click add so now you'll have this box here it's pretty confusing but it's not when you know how to use it then you want to hit select OVL find the OVL file you created a few minutes ago click on that OVL click open then type in miss right here then just you can just disable this because that doesn't matter scenery just click on whatever you used for your icon texture name string just click on your text string that you created earlier now you want to set the scenery type to medium scenery supports type none extra parameters none for position just do zero 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 size four 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 size in squares one one placement flag set it for a full tile now for this, just select everything to zero. So now here, just put zero, 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 zero. Then just put under supports, zero. Then click OK. So now you have uh, this thing here called Mr. RCG3 Creator Station Cover, or whatever you named your username. OK. Then just hit close. Now what you want to do is you want to hit install. And it'll say, theme successfully installed if you did everything correctly. So then you want to load up Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Because Camtasia doesn't really work in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, I will have a screenshot of what the file should look like in game. And then when you want to close out the importer, just hit yes.